new technology have a huge impact on the children's learning and the pace of the children's learning. The computers are very fast, they're just excellent. They're better than the ones that we had in that old school. And when do you use them? Um, almost in, it can in almost every subject. Math, science, IT, business. Because the information is easily accessible, children become much more independent learners. immediate benefits I think um, are the, the way that the school has uh, adapted the design to give them opportunities to um, teach in new ways. So what the school's really done is take the opportunity to have a new school and to actually revisit the way that the learning takes place in the school. We're in the Learning Resource Centre which is basically a suite of about um, 120 computers. We have both PCs and iMacs in here and children come in here for ICT lessons and for media studies lessons and for business lessons as well. Um, it's also used as um, a homework club in the evenings and somewhere where children can come in and learn independently or use the PCs for whatever topic they're actually working on at the moment. Um, they're great really. They're faster and they're more efficient and you can do, they've got more programs on them. And Richard, you've got a new learning space. Can you tell me a little bit about it and how you use it? Um, it's, it's a very interesting room. It's actually divided up um, into two main areas that is actually designed for how I teach and the nature of the course that we deliver. What this room and particularly this wall here allows me to then do is where I have pupils working at a pass level or a merit level, it allows me to differentiate my lesson for them then. In the meantime then I can focus at those pupils at the pass level and give them a more detailed explanation without talking to people that don't need to hear it so they're able to get on with their work. The nature of the wall that I have allows me to still effectively be in the classroom. Well, the important thing for me is that the technology works in, in the school. So whilst we're a technology company, we, we should never lose sight of the fact that actually what we're doing is delivering ICT services to staff and pupils in schools. So our focus is absolutely on delivering learning in schools. The experience in the previous school was that the IT was unreliable and that made it difficult for staff to effectively plan lessons with the surety that the IT would be available. Um, and also from a, a pupil point of view, it's obviously very distracting if you're trying to do a piece of work and the, uh, the ICT isn't there to support it. How have you found the technology in this new school compared to your old school? Oh, it, it's a world away. Um, it gives you the confidence to plan lessons where you know you're going to be able to use the full time. In the past, um, we had one technician who was struggling admirably with a lot of PCs um, um, and some very faulty equipment, so it was very unreliable. So you plan a lesson for 25 and then find that only about 15 of the machines were working. And so there were 10 people having to share or anything like that. And it was you know, didn't make for a good lesson. So, things work is the, is the common feedback that I get when, um, when talking to staff at the school and students. Everything works first time and it, anything that doesn't, um, I, I think it's something like a half an hour turnaround guaranteed. I don't think it's, we've ever needed that full half hour. Everything has been sort of like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you make a request and it gets sorted and it, it's fantastic. And it gives, like I say, it gives you that confidence then Garden Education Village is another one of Council's visions. One of the visions was to bring together both uh, the SEN schools in Manchester and the high schools to give the SEN pupils in particular more opportunities to integrate into the fabulous facilities we now have in our high schools. But in terms of IT, there were some challenges with that. The schools use different systems for a start. Um, special schools obviously require particular kinds of technology for some of their learners. What we've done at Garton, I think, is show the way for other schools nationally how you can integrate an SEN school with a high school successfully. So one of the great initial excitements of BSF was to try to frame a solution which worked for both the schools as they are today but would also leave them open to 
a great deal of more collaboration in the future. And I think Orton is a very successful campus from that point of view. And I believe you'll see all sorts of developments in the next few years that the ICT will facilitate because we're now in a much more shared kind of environment. BSF and Academies programme is a £500 million investment in 35 schools in the city of Manchester. The initial remit was very much about the delivery of BSF ICT, which is a complex programme in Manchester. But latterly, the city and ourselves realised that we perhaps needed to take a much more holistic view about education ICT. So my remit now is looking at education ICT from 4 to 19 and making sure really that the journey for students is seamless and that the investment that we're making in technology, which is considerable, goes across the whole experience for a student and not just in the secondary estates. The main responsibility of my job is to uh, implement the virtual learning env environment which is called Assimilate. Most staff are setting up um, communities where staff put work on for the pupils, the pupils can access that work at home and forward work back to the teacher. It's a two-way process. A great proportion of staff are now using the platform, but we've still got some who are a little bit hesitant. So that's our next step, is to get those moving. So we've got a, a completely cohesive staff using the same system. So pupils, when they go into a classroom, they can have a similar experience. But what we've actually found now, that staff who are not necessarily as ICT literate as they were when we were over in the old building, are now finding that the tools are absolutely indispensable. Some of the successes are that we've got great integration now with ICT and you've got uh, pupils using the ICT in new ways, teachers much more engaged in using the ICT to deliver lessons and hopefully we'll see the benefits in later years of that investment. They also appreciate the fact and, and hopefully are aware of the fact that everything that they use that we have here um, is up to date so the packages that they'll use here will be exactly those that they'll be using in industry. Certainly when they come back from work experience, they notice it more. They're like, look, they use the same, you know, even if it's like just the office packages and stuff like that, these are the same one here. Yes, that's, there's a reason for that. Because the information is easily accessible and it's very quick to access the information that they need, children become much more independent learners. So they can do topic-based learning. We get more work done because of the fast technology. Also, the size of the computers uh, matter because you can fit more computers in one room. Uh, the new year seven intakes full so the community have reacted and want to send their children to the school. The computers are great and they're fast and as they're essential you can actually access them anywhere. And I think one of the other important things that it's done is, is bred a, a degree of confidence now in ICT that's allowing staff and students to be more innovative and look at new ways of doing things and making sure that ICT is embedded across the curriculum. Yeah, clearly technology doesn't stay, stay still and where we are today will be different to where we'll be in five years' time. Part of our remit is to work in partnership with the schools to take the technology in the directions that they want the technology to go. We're keen that we um, embrace some of the new technology around mobility, um, enhance the use of the learning platform, um, both at the school level but also across the city. So lessons are far more exciting, far more varied um, using you know, BBC iPlayer, um, YouTube etc to, to find little snippets of film that will really add and stimulate the children with the topics in the classroom. Well BSF is about transformation, it's not, it's not about technology. Um, people working with technology is what's going to transform education, particularly given the way children have embraced technology in the last few years. To make sure that when students want to learn, they can learn and the technology is there to support them.